It's a critical part of a deck, but don't choose the wrong size bearer when designing your deck. Choosing the right size comes from NZS 3604, but this is actually quite an involved document, almost 450 pages long. It takes quite a bit of navigating, and this video here is to help you find your way around choosing the right size bearer for your deck. This video is one of many on the Robo Deck Designer YouTube channel. I'm Paul and this YouTube channel here is all about helping you. Helping you navigate the difficult New Zealand building code regulations. I will let you know about little known clauses and design considerations that can prevent you from making mistakes and getting it right first time. But the greatest gift I can give you is the Robo Deck Designer online tool. This online tool will help you design your deck to New Zealand building code regulations within minutes. So the first thing in working out your bearer size is working out your loaded dimension. The best way to work this out is to use the diagram on this video. This example is for two bearers and a ledger. But there are also other examples for one and three bearers. For the grades of timber there's three different grades. There's SG6, SG8 and SG10. Now all the decks designed using Railway Deck Designer are used, designed using SG8. In NZS 3604 under section 7.4 there's a little snippet in there which shows you which grade you should be using for your deck which is actually SG8. Before working out the bearer span please just be aware that it is actually possible to have a cantilever bearer. So there's, you can have a overhang at the end of the bearer at each end of the line of posts. The clause 6.12.2 Four outlines just how far your bearer can actually extend beyond the end of the post. Once you've actually worked out your overhangs, if you're having any, then you can actually work out the span of your bearers. Once you have all this information, then you need to use the correct table in NZS 3604. The main table is for grade SG8, but there are alternative SG6 and SG10 tables further down in NZS 3604. So make sure that you use the bottom half of the table. From here you can go and head and work out your bearer size. Double bearers can be used but there's regulations on how these bearers must be used. These are set out in NZS 3604 clause 2.4.4.7 clause the width of the both bearers must be the same. With the second clause, the combined width must be equal or greater to that of a standard bearer. With the third clause, the nail spacing must not be more than six times the individual width of the bearers. With the fourth clause, the nails must penetrate at least 75% of the last member and be driven in from different sides. And for the fifth clause, there needs to be a second row of nails if the bearer is greater than 140 millimeters high. Thanks so much for watching this video, we'll catch you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe to the Robodeck Designer YouTube channel. Thank you so much.